Who left the door open? Was it you again? Jesus. I think I'm gonna dismiss Lumberjack later on. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I'm Chronicle 6 and I'm at the logging company in Muldrow right now. I went to Muldrow with Tony. I took Tony with me because Tony is a good fighter, right? Very good with guns and stuff. Because I wanted to go on a loot run for plaster and paint, okay? And so far, I've been looting this uh, area here. I mean this... Um, warehouse and I found the other people here I found Michelle and the lumberjack I found them outside of the logging company well around the area they were just sneaking up around and Neil I found Neil while on a loot run and Neil is a good fighter what 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 is he doing hello what are you doing yeah, it's pretty safe, but we're not going to stay here for long anyways. So, call over. And I want you to what, what, give order. You go and patrol. All right. Yeah, Neil is a pretty good fighter. He basically uh, just was just using a knife and it's pretty good. It's a... Uh, strong and I think he's a good fighter but uh, here when I got here there was already a ton of people who were dead it's basically already a bloodbath around here but then we killed these other zombies and people as well because there's a ton of enemies here around in uh, Muldrow that's what I've noticed and also, um, of course, a ton of raiders. And you'll be hearing a lot of shooting all over the place all the time. So, yeah. I took this van with me. Why am I walking so slow? What's going on with me? Why am I so slow? Why? Yeah, like I said, I took the van with me with the trailer so I can take more stuff because paint and plaster are really heavy so let me close this lock this because there's really a ton of raiders here yeah I've already been here for a couple of days looting the neighborhood and also of course here the crates here and sorting out the stuff. I always take out the stuff and put them on the floor because I have respawn in my game so it will respawn I think after a month or something like that. And so I've been organizing this. Let me check why I can't walk at all. 24-17 Okay heavy load but it's not extremely heavy load I don't understand hmm I don't get it I don't know why I can't look I can't run you think that's the fire fire uh, fighter pants let me see if I take off the pants because I know that the jacket slows you down extremely slows you down oh okay so the pants also slows you down now because before it was only the jacket now it's also the pants okay so you can't really run that's bad but I think I've been I've been keeping some you know spare clothing here. And also what I do, yeah, I put a bed here. I was when I was looting the neighborhood, I took one of the beds and so I can sleep here without you know getting a neck pain because usually I would just put down a chair here or any 
type of chair, sleep on the chair, and then the next day you have pain, you know, and you can't really sleep well, and so you'll be suffering the whole time, and it's annoying as hell. So let me see, I got, no, I was keeping some clothing here, spare clothing from the, wait, let me check outside. There was some clothing outside because we killed a couple of raiders. There were a ton of them. And everybody has like at least an M16. So it's quite tough. Let me... Wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take one of you with me outside just to guard. Let me see. What are you carrying? What kind of gun? Lumberjack. Mm. Let me see. Oh, pretty strong. Sneaky. Yeah, I gave you a revolver. All right. Okay, using an axe. Yeah, pretty good at aiming. That's okay. All right, what time is it? It's 8.40. Let me drink something. All right. You, Lumberjack, you go with me. Uh, let's talk. What would you say? We came back to McCoy's looking for supplies. Yeah, Muldra is a god-awful mess. I know that there's a ton of raiders and bad people around here. So you follow me, all right? If you say so, yes, I say so. Come on, follow me. Because I'm looking for the... There was some military gear around here. And again... I want all my survivors to use a gun because, you know, if everybody, all of the bad people or raiders have a gun, why did you leave the door open? I can see it from here. Yeah, and you tried to use my, she didn't close the door. You're stupid. They normally close the door. So I'm checking the clothing here. Come on. Because I'm looking for other pants. Yes, yeah, you can see here, that's why I always drop the clothing on the floor because when the zombies disappear, I can still get the stuff, right? What I also do sometimes, guys, is I don't know if you also do that. I use them as uh, trash, <laughs> like trash can. I put some trash in them <laughs> because then when they disappear, the trash also is gone. Because I don't know, there's no other way to, to throw something. You can't, I mean, yeah, you can burn the corpses with the trash. I don't know, but it's just pretty bad. You can't really get rid of stuff, you know. So... What's going on here? I also thought while staying here, I'm going to be practicing my skills, uh, mechanic skills, because there are like a lot of cars, uh, vehicles over there at the parking lot. And that's always what I do when I'm here at the logging company. I always do some disassembling. This poor person here, um, I don't know who it was. I think Tony, yeah, Tony shot this person. I was trying to recruit, I was trying to recruit her and Tony already shot her dead. <laughs> Just shot her, you know, yeah. Just carrying a gardening hoe. That's why you gotta be quick when you're like, you wanna, Recruit someone be quick about it. Otherwise your other survivors will be shooting them or killing them 
though the setting I do is here hostiles on site not anyone because if I set it on anyone they will just shoot anyone even if they are friendly but that's why I always choose hostiles right so where's the military gear there was some military gear somewhere or maybe I put them already here because I started packing you know everything that I need I put them already here inside the trailer no the clothing is not there and also here I don't know I, I don't think I put the clothing in there I think the clothing is inside because obviously I can't take everything I can only take as much as I can carry with the van and the trailer combined. I found this fanny pack somewhere which is pretty cool for all the meds. Uh oh. <laughs> Shot the... Does it have a silencer? Or... Oh, I just used the axe. A bow tie? haven't found any katana yet katana is awesome but I think they are really rare I haven't even raided the gun store yet at West Point and sometimes they have the katana if you're lucky katana is really awesome what's going on I haven't looted the other warehouses yet this is the only warehouse I've been looting so far because there's just a ton of crates and I ordered the other survivors to loot like yeah loot some weapons but they took like metal pipes and planks and stuff and then they were complaining I can't carry more pretty useless for looting so where where's where is he? Oh, there you are. Is that a guy or a girl? I'm always confused. So, let's go here. Now I can find it. Hmm. Damn, I hate walking so slow like this. Let me take off. Yeah, that's pretty bad day now. Also, you know, slow you down, that's bad. I can't smoke, why? Oh, where did I put my lighters? I put all the lighters inside. Oh man. Okay, I can't I can't run right now because now it's heavy. What am I carrying that's so heavy? What? 2733. Jesus. Oh, okay. Now I closed the door. So let's see, did I put some clothing here? There were some of them like wearing military gear and stuff. Okay, whatever. Let's just put the, the other ones here. Let me wear the jeans. Okay. And you You patrol here. No, I can't run right now. Yeah, so far I just sorted out all the paints. 
I'll be coming back to get some of those and also during my loot run I took some furniture that I can take with me this one or one part is missing I don't know because got destroyed when I was disassembling it yeah I mean to start off with my base build I think it's alright you know if I have like a couple of plaster and paint what I really need first is plaster because I have to plaster all the walls first before I can paint them anyways so. oh yeah by the way guys every time I go to a town a certain town I always prepare a starter pack here for example this is my starter pack for Muldrow because this is ensuring that just in case I die, right? Like if my character dies and it happens quickly, right? And I spawn somewhere. Like if I choose to spawn uh, at West Point, for example. If I'm in West Point, there's no problem because I have a safe house over there. I just need to get to the safe house and I have all the stuff that I need. Okay, but here in Muldrow, I don't have that. That's why I put, um, I took a starter bag with me to leave here. So just in case I choose to start here, I have a starter pack with all the necessary stuff that I need to, to survive for, for, you know, to start off with, right? And these weapons and firearms and all of that I looted from the raiders uh, I have to leave them here because I can't carry too much I already have the van is fully packed and I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take two survivors with me going back to Dixie and I'm gonna leave the other two right now I'm really recruiting some strong and uh, very good fighters you know and I'm taking of course Tony I'm taking Tony with me and also the new guy I think his name is Neil I'm gonna take him with me going back and like I said I can't carry all the stuff here that's why I left them here and I took some food with me from Dixie and also from the neighborhood when I was on a loot run and because the only thing that is missing here in Moltro is water and food you don't really get a lot of food if you're gonna stay here in this uh, area of uh, the logging company you will be starving sooner or later if you don't have enough food with you right so that's why that's the thing that I wanted to make sure that I have unless you start farming immediately so you have something to at least harvest and to be self-sufficient and stuff like that but it takes a long time before you get to harvest so let's see where's my oh boy got my lighter oh and I got the mechanic books okay because like I said if I'm here and I stay for a couple of days I practice my mechanic skills and level up that way and I need the books to level up faster that's why I took some uh, copies of the books like I have them duplicate uh, a set I have over at Dixie and I took a set with me for here and that's the next thing I'm gonna do like yeah practice my mechanics to level up so what's my situation moderate exertion with what okay so yeah that's basically what I do guys I prepare for you know before I start building I prepare all the stuff that I will need and of course it takes time you know, I go to Muldrow, I go to West Point. I might also go to Rosewood to get some stuff, depending on what I need and what I'm looking for. And 
those are quite boring episodes, you know, because I'm not like playing like a zombie slayer and stuff, you know, it's not always like adventure and just a killing spree and fighting and stuff that's why this is what you go through guys i mean this is a regular everyday gameplay you know okay so let me take lumberjack once again see i said i'm not gonna take any survivors anymore or recruit any survivors anymore without a real name see i did it again i was too fast maybe i will dismiss lumberjack because it's just stupid, you know. You don't call people... Look look at this. It's it's open again. Why? Jesus. Who left the door open? Was it you again? Jesus. I think I'm going to dismiss Lumberjack later on. Follow. So, I'm I'm going to... I'm going to observe if you close the door. Oh, I think it's bugged. Because I heard a door, but it didn't close. So, yeah, I think it's bugged. Let me see what's inside this. Because I was also, this is the one I was using for the loot run. Oh, we have more food here. All right. Some rotten stuff. Oh, more, more stuff. Okay. What, why are you running? You're making me nervous. So I'm going to practice on some of these cars. Just got to be careful. You, why are you always carrying? Oh, because it's a lumberjack. All right. Okay. Okay. I gotcha, but if a zombie comes out of here and attacks me, I don't know what you're gonna do with your axe. Okay, this is what I do to level up faster. Um, let's check my skills. All right, so mechanics is activated right now. This is the beginner beginner level the next one is intermediate so when I level up here I need to read the intermediate book before I start working on cars again but to get it up fast I need to do something but if your level is not that high yet you are very limited to what you can do or allowed to do okay so what I start off with I normally uninstall the lights. What is missing? Oh, okay, car key. Because it's locked. What the hell? Okay, what about this, this one? Let's practice with this one. Now you need a car key. Okay, before you can still do that, even if the car is locked. So I start off with the uh, headlights. okay I uninstall them the other stuff you can't do that yet you gotta be higher level to be able to do that that's why you gotta be doing a ton of stuff with the vehicles so you can level up okay so I disassembled that and now we're gonna install it back easy as that all right there you go all right and then It's just pretty bad that this thing is always in the way so you can't really show it everything is so huge it's like 
covering up the whole screen. That's what bothers me, you know, with this game because this game is really very awesome and realistic in a lot of aspects, but the menus and the inventory system is just I hope it's you know gonna be improved in the future but like this like if I'm showing this you can't really see anything what the character is doing because this thing is in the way but if I close it I can't do anything you gotta open it to do something right so yeah that's what's going on so the next thing I do is I remove the tires that's why I'm carrying all the tools with me as you can see here you probably be wondering why I'm always carrying a ton of stuff so I carry the log wrench the jack the wrench and a screwdriver oh screwdriver is missing right now so I can disassemble tires so let's remove the tires uninstall it's gonna be heavy because of course the tires are heavy all right there you go next one is the other front tire can't really see I can't I can't make it smaller jeez there you go leveled up Ta-da! so now I won't continue doing any anything at all because I don't want to waste my effort I need to read the book okay so where's the tires I'm gonna leave the tires here of course because they're too heavy I got two tires here and I'm gonna install them later install them back oh, I actually have a screwdriver the jack is heavy put that back here because heavy load what else and the lug wrench. What, where's the lug wrench? I think it broke. The hell? Where is it? Probably broke. All right. So that's pretty good. Leveled up. Hmm. I can't even put them in the vehicle because it's full. It's already super full. And even if I go on a loot run in the neighborhood. I don't have space to put them in so there's no sense you know I thought I'm gonna go for another round loot run it's also dangerous outside what I have experienced is if you're riding a vehicle and you they can just shoot you you know and if you have a survivor with you and they shoot the survivor the survivor might die in your car also it's really dangerous because all of them have guns now and so it's a very dangerous thing to do like go on a loot run so next time i'm gonna go on a loot run i'll take someone disposable with me so even if that person dies or that survivor dies it's not a huge waste because all my skilled survivors i want to keep them as as much as possible and as long as possible you know because they're very it's one of those boring episodes guys because there's nothing really much going on unless i get raided once again and i'm pretty sure it's gonna happen soon once more because they're always roaming all over the place and so guys like i said there's nothing really much going on in this episode because i just went to loot for plaster because that's really what i need and i got all plaster that i can carry so far and it's only from this warehouse the other ones i haven't checked them yet because like i said i can't take them with me right now anyway so once i have used the others i'm gonna go back here and take the rest or take i mean somewhere. i can 
tow another vehicle and put some more stuff in there but it's more dangerous to be driving with two vehicles it's already like risky doing that with a trailer because when you drive and you go to a curve and sometimes it flips you know and you can't do anything about it once it's already flipped right it's dangerous so guys i hope that you still enjoyed this episode somehow it's just showing you what i do in my everyday zomboid life and this is one of those days and so i hope to see you next time again please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet I'll see you next time again. I'm Chronicle 6. Bye-bye.